Hi guy. Welcome to Fook VR channel. If you like my video, please, click like and subscribe to my channel, or buy me one coffee to motivate me to create more videos. If you prefer to watch in article form, visit my buy me coffee page to read it. Android UI Toolkit is over 10 years old now. Over the years, it has received numerous updates regarding functionality, types of UI elements it provides, and optimizations. But because the UI team initially developed the toolkit, it also grew in complexity and the amount of code for even the simplest of components. Finally, in 2020, a miracle happened, Jetpack Compose. The new UI toolkit was announced and started being thoughtfully developed by Google. Jetpack Compose is a new and fresh toolkit built in Kotlin that offers a clean and declarative way to develop custom components and beautiful interfaces. Different from normal project initialization, instead of choosing empty activity, we choose empty compose activity. Then select next. Finish. By default, Android Studio initializes us with a project with a hello world layout. We're going to erase all the components that look complicated to newbies and keep the parts that are easiest to understand. This is called composables. You can break this code into two parts. First, it's a function, and second, that function has an annotation called a composable. You'll notice that you don't have to extend any class view or overwrite constructors or other functions. All you need to care about is writing a function and using this new fancy annotation. In Compose, calling a function that displays something on the screen emits the UI. So, to emit your message, you need to call a text function. Text is also a composable function and it's one of the default composable functions that make up Jetpack Compose. One thing to notice is that composable functions can only be invoked from other composable functions. If you try to remove it composable, you'll get an error stopping you from using text. When displaying your composables, you still use activities or fragments as a starting point. To display the greeting composable you just saw, you'd use method set content. This is the difference between Jetpack Compose and the original UI toolkits when we use composables instead of file XML. I will explain in the next post. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe to get the latest videos, and don't forget to visit my page if you like the article type.